Karl de Rigoletto für die, für die düsterste Oper, die Verdi je geschrieben hat. Es ist, eine, es ist eine Geschichte, die nichts als innere Verwüstung und äh, Zerstörung bei ihren Figuren hinterlässt. Und obwohl die Figuren, die Titelfigur allen voran teilweise Monströses vollbringen, ist man bei ihnen und es nimmt einen emotional ungeheuer mit. Gilda hat für Rigoletto eine sehr wichtige Funktion. Sie hat aber zunächst einmal gar nichts mit ihr selbst zu tun. Gilda wird für ihn zu seinem, zu seinem Rückzugsort. Er will an ihr all die moralischen Maximen, die Verhaltensmaximen, die er ja vorgeblich in dieser Welt, in der er nun mal lebt und in der er handelt und in der er total wichtig und maßgeblich handelt, die kann er da ja angeblich alle nicht verwirklichen. So, solange dieses, dieses Kind absolut unter seiner Kontrolle, unter seinem Willen steht, so lange kann er dieses völlig schizophrene Selbstbild aufrechterhalten. Das Erschütternde ist, dass es ihm um diesen Menschen Gilda überhaupt nicht geht. Normally, Gilda is the kind of person who is a typical virgin, very young, tender hearted. But in our production, since opera is a living art, she is quite a different woman. She is, well, I would say she's a bit naughty and she really pushes back against her father because he wants her to be this perfect little virgin daughter and that is not what she sees herself as. There's, uh, yes, it's not going to be the typical reading of Gilda. Gilda and the Duke. Oh, the first duet between those two seems like such a a lovely, pure moment, but of course we already know that the Duke is kind of a jerk. Um, but in the end, it doesn't matter to Gilda. She sees uh, what he's doing with this other woman, Maddalena. Yet it only pushes her to the fact that she wants to end her life. She actually doesn't care anymore. And we, we have found a way that Gilda is going to punish her father. She, she'll punish him by giving her life for the Duke. And the Duke doesn't care. She doesn't, she doesn't care that the Duke doesn't care. She has this image in her head. She's going to become a martyr of sorts. Brenda was really an amazing interpreter and artist of Gilda. She has a beautiful gift from God, <laughs> beautiful voice that she can play whatever she wants. And um, she's a beautiful person, wonderful person, so it was really a big pleasure to work with her, really. Yeah, I'm very lucky because we have really a, a great cast. And the role of Rigoletto is Quinn. Quinn is amazing also. I mean, he really knows what he's doing. And this is very important for me because when an artist has a very strong idea so I can face and I can work with him. Mario is, is he sings with his heart. 
and, and that's the point of this tenor in this opera. And I have to say, it was a long journey and everybody was giving really 100% every day. And I would leave it to say thank you because it was really a beautiful experience. Der Kern des Stückes möchte uns zu mehr Empathie bewegen. Das Ganze funktioniert nicht in einem Läuterungsprozess, sondern hier, in dem uns mit aller Konsequenz vorgeführt wird, was passiert und wo eine Welt endet, wenn sie das Mitgefühl und wenn sie die Empathie nicht mehr hat. Musik